Hello, welcome to my crispy seaweed burger recipe. They are so easy to make. There's literally two ingredients plus and, that, and water. Uh, seaweed, oats and water. And basically, uh, when I was a kid, I was brought up in Wales and we used to eat this thing called lava bread all the time. And it's basically that you could buy like this little sloppy seaweed. It sounds gross, but it's really nice. Um, and you mix oats with it and then you fry it into little burgers. Uh, now you can buy this lava seaweed like anywhere in Wales, like all the supermarkets sell it, but you just can't buy it anywhere out of Wales or haven't been able to find it anywhere. Um, anyway, so I make uh, like vegetarian sushi with this um, seaweed, which is called lava, which I thought, well, that's exactly the same as lava bread. So I thought this is just dried seaweed. So I thought, well, if you just add water to it, you're making exactly the same thing as uh, you know what I used to eat when I was a kid so anyway I was experimenting and made these amazing burgers like I used to have so I'm really chuffed now I can I can have them and not have to travel all the way to Wales to get the seaweed. Seaweed burgers are amazing they're so good for you they're full of calcium iron magnesium and all sorts of other vitamins and I hope you enjoy them if you decide to make them they sound utterly gross but they are really delicious and I'm not saying that I wouldn't eat anything that was gross honestly <laughs> and yeah hope you enjoy making them bye Okay, so here we go, taste test. Now these taste particularly nice with a bit of tamari on. 
and I usually use the Meridian soy sauce to my eggs because it's gluten free. So just put a little sprinkle on there. So nice and crispy. Yum yum. Mmm. It's absolutely delicious. I could eat so many of them. Mm mm mm. So you could have them on a salad. We're gonna have them with a roast dinner. Or you, you can have them hot, you can have them cold. You can even put the mixture in the freezer so you can cook them whenever you want, take them out to frost and, and cook them whenever you want. Okay, bye.